Some bitches. It's uh, Monday on the Real DVD Watchers. It's week, what is it, week 121? I think. And today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Dead Silence, which I showed in my latest DVD update. Hey. Um, this is about. It's, well, I'll just read the back because it's hard to explain. Um, from the critters of Saw comes a new thriller of relentless terror. Ever since Mary Shaw was hunted down and killed, the small town of Ravensfair has ha been haunted by horrific deaths. When a local's wife is brutally murdered, he returns home to unravel the terrifying legend of Mary Shaw and the reason why you see her. Or when you see her, you should never scream. Or you should never ever scream. Um, and it involves. And Mary Shaw has like a been ventriloquist, um, and those are kind of like her children. So there's a creep factor involved with this. Um, the actress playing Mary Shaw is really, really good. I really like her a lot. She's really good at being creepy, especially her eyes. Just kind of a, the way she just looks around. There's the, the flashback scene where she's doing the ventriloquism where the kid kind of tries to debunk her, and she just oh she's, she's creepy and the bit where she's like a she's kind of dead as a puppet like made to look like a puppet <laughs> um so yeah there's a very a large creep factor involved i did like the film a lot i thought it was really cool visually it was really interesting and i thought um what's his face who plays from uh, true blood was good in it and you know but he just kind of did sort of wander from place to place it felt like trying to being quite angry and just figuring out what was going on which is fair enough but the police officer that was following him played by Donnie Wahlberg was so cliche and annoying he was just such a typical kind of movie police officer just kind of very grumpy and angry and I don't believe this ghost story you're telling me what's what's really going on I'm gonna follow you without my partner or any backup whatsoever uh, I'm just angry all the time and one-dimensional he said I didn't like that character but you know Mary Shaw was without a doubt the best character and it's a really interesting concept because ventriloquists and the ventriloquist dolls are just creepy very creepy visually it was really cool really interesting um you know and I liked how they started it off it was when it started off it was very moody and they started it off with a death which was nice and it wasn't like you know it wasn't Generally sometimes you see horror movies or horror kind of ish TV shows and someone gets killed at the beginning and it's not really, it's sort of, it's related to the movie but it's not related directly to our characters, you know, it'll be like a flashback scene and something horrible will happen and that will set up the legend of uh, of what's happening over the movie. Well they didn't do that this time which I liked, you know, they threw us right in there with the main character and so, you know, and then they kill off what's her face immediately and then that's what kind of drives the whole film which I thought was interesting that they kind of took a different route with it but yeah it's a really cool idea uh, there were some things I didn't like about it but overall uh, it was definitely one I'd go back to and one that is good with the popcorn you know it's a fun dark movie and very really creepy actually some really creepy stuff and like I said the actress playing uh, Mary Shaw was very creepy and uh, I haven't done who she is. I'm not sure I've seen her in anything. I think she's more from uh, the stage as opposed to the movies. But yeah, that's been my review of Dead Silence. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week uh, for whatever week that is. Peace.